Hello, everyone. Today we are talking about the business model and competitive strategy of IKEA in India. This video is made by Arthur, Edward, Rita, Amanda. First, let's talk about the background of IKEA in India. IKEA is a global group headquartered in the Netherlands that designs and sells DIY furniture and home assurance. It was founded by Inver Kampret in Sweden in 1943. IKEA has been the world's largest furniture retailer since at least 2008. The concept of IKEA is sustainable, to take care of people and the planet better. Every product they create is their idea for making home a better place. The IKEA group finally entered the India retail market after three years preparation to negotiate with government in accordance with local policies and conduct researches with Indian families. The first IKEA store will be set up in the southern city of Hyderabad this year. Although IKEA is still not yet to commerce its business in India, the India is not an unknown place to IKEA. IKEA has been sourcing from India for 30 years for its stores around the world. It works with 50 suppliers in India, engaging more than 45,000 direct co-workers and approximately 400,000 co-workers in its extended supply chain. IKEA is trying to make India to be a major manufacturing and sourcing hub for IKEA's global market, and India will be a strong foundation for IKEA to create a better development in the future. Thus, IKEA has a sustainable source of competitive advantages in India. In my opinion, the answer is yes. I will use the SWOT analysis method to illustrate the answer. SWOT analysis consists of five four parts, stress, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Next, I will analyze its parts separately. The first stress for IKEA is light provides a variety of furniture for family and business. It carries a range of 9,000 products, including furniture, appliance, electronics, kitchen wire, and bathroom wire. IKEA is one of the largest furniture retailers in the world. It promises the same quality and a wide range of well-designed functional products at lower price. It emphasizes on creating a better everyday life for many people. IKEA believes in creating long-term partnerships with its suppliers in order to achieve volume commitments by committing to buying large volumes over a number of years so lights can negotiate lower prices. Therefore, it operates over a thousand distribution and trade service channels all over the world. The company has made a lot of efforts to enter Indian markets. The group strongly focuses on social human rights issues in India, especially in the public benefits. Although IKEA has a great reputation and image in people's minds all over the world. The IKEA Foundation has been supporting long-term programs to help children to fight against children labor to create a better everyday life for the many children in India since 2000. By 2015, the program partners had helped more than 100 million children. The weakness of IKEA has some unfavorable events occurred in recent years. The company has recalled several products in recent times. These unfavorable events damaged the group's reputation to some content. The worst event is that the company recalled of 29 million of chest and dressers. In the latest in February 2016, a six year old child was being wrapped and died. Products recalled not only impacted the brand's image of group but also resulted in lost in revenue. 
two and a half decades ago, India policymakers embarked on a journey that would lead the country towards economic liberalization and development. It would offer better opportunities for every family to grow its income and raise living standard. The average annual household income has grown dramatically. The major labor force in India are the middle age or young. This group of people eager to connect with the world. When they earn more money, they will desire for the more modern, more fashion, more western furniture style. You will have a special shopping experience at the Kia store. When you come in, staff will offer you a store map and marked out of the latest location. IKEA shows all products to you in well-designed collection. You can look at it, touch it, feel it. When you made up your mind, take a photo of the tag on your phone. Go to the self-service area, find out what you want. There is no salesperson whisper what you should have, what you should not. You can enjoy your freedom totally. Recently, as the labor costs are increased, it reduces IKEA's profit directly. The raw material price increased significantly as well. Due to the low price and secure competitive advantages in Indian markets, if lost the lower price the source, it means IKEA may lost in the market. As the value of furniture markets in India is getting higher and higher, more and more competitors want to get in. In the future, the priority for IKEA is to keep the market share in this intensive competitive market. Now, we are talking about how has IKEA attempted to position itself in the Indian market. growing economy, the middle and upper class have more disposable income. The growing middle class has long been Indian strength, driving the country's economy. In the Indian furniture market, the middle class is the main demanders. The young adults are a big target market for Indians IKEA. These people aged 25 to 35 who have higher incomes and better education. Also, this growing middle class living in urban cities. They are looking for good furniture that will work for the time being. Therefore, the Indian furniture industry is mainly segmented into Indian's growing middle class. In India, the middle class is aspiring to better lifestyles. IKEA is to compete with top domestic companies such as BP Ergo, Hemworth, Style Spa, and Dury. Those competitors compete in price. IKEA needs to position the brand as a leader in value price and practical design. Also, Indian people want great design in unique styles to match their lifestyle for low price. IKEA plans to make products from local materials, such as cotton and bamboo, with manufacturing some furniture from local produce wood. IKEA plays their part in creating a better life for the people and communities. IKEA respects for human rights, which is putting people first. IKEA Foundation supports programs run by organizations to help children and youth living in the world's poorest communities. IKEA is committed to working for gender equal society, gives women a chance at independence and better future. Now, let's discuss do you believe the Indian market is an attractive option for IKEA? Justify your answer with a relevant theory. The first reason is India middle class. Second reason is retail market. Third reason is diversity and opportunities. And fourth is imitators and protection. IKEA specifically to send experts to the Indian people do a lot of research at home. India is an undeveloped country with 1.2 billion and the middle class is more than US. IKEA's price is moderate which is very suitable for the middle class. It also reduces the risk of investment for IKEA.
India continuously opened foreign direct investment policy in the past few years. That the Indian retail industry have enormous investment opportunities. A key invested one billion and five hundred million euros in India. India has now become the world's second most attractive retailer of developing economies. From this table, we can see India is one of the fastest retail market growing in the world. India has entered the top ten overseas investment. IKEA has great potential in India. IKEA want to challenge complex market. They are excited about diversities and opportunities to localize product in India. They need to increase the produced by India's local characteristic of the furniture. For example, wooden furniture. They are also made of cane, wicker, bamboo. There are more and more IKEA visitors. IKEA can log in especially widely because some countries' protection of intellectual property rights system cannot prevent the happening of this kind of behavior. But India's government pays special attention to the protection of intellectual property rights, which helps to limit damage. Okay, let's move on to the final question. What international strategy has IKEA adopted in India? As we know, the multi-domestic strategy, global strategy, and the transitional strategy are three main international strategies available for a multinational corporation such as IKEA. And in our opinion, we think the international strategy of IKEA for Indian market is transitional strategy. IKEA use very good entry model, which has highest level of control and high flexible level to change the external conditions. They also doing three years research to talk with India family members to understand their message and aesthetics. According to the research, India did some special products for India, such as the pressure cookers. Space boxes, steel utensils, a carpet, and some special sofa. Use sofa as an example. It's central to lives of Indians. They sit in sofa to watching TV when we are eating. It's homework zone for children in the day, and it's also sitting for guests in the evening. So the elder IKEA's classic Scandinavian design so far into expandable coaches. They use red colors, dark brown instead of white, and add some curtain with vibrant shade. The IKEA stay away from your slider, keep religion sentiment in mind. It also sells some special meatballs in food corner, which is only made by chicken, not beef, for some religion regions. According to India, not do it yourself culture, IKEA will assemble furniture and delivery for the the next day, for a small premium, of course. Customization is already at heart of IKEA. In conclusion, IKEA has competitive advantage on well-designed furniture. A large amount of middle class in India attracted the interest of IKEA to enter in India retail market. Thus, transactional strategy has been adopted in India by IKEA.